uh, my name is Wen Yian. I'm from Monash University, Australia. So uh, here on behalf of my uh, co-workers, in, including uh, Peter Martin, so I'm going to present uh, our uh, research. Uh, the title is Evolution of the uh, Mechanical Properties of Laser Cladded Hyperutectoid uh, Steel uh, Rails. So this work actually is uh, uh, one of the tasks of a, a three-year project. And this project uh, uh, is funded by the Australia Research Council, so-called linkage project. So linkage project means we must have industry partners. So in this uh, project, we have uh, Hardcrum Engineering Australia, uh, Australia Nuclear Science and Technology, and Welding Technology Institute of Australia. So uh, the overall ob objective of this uh, project is to develop a laser cladding technique to repair heavy coal uh, railway rails uh, used in Australia mining industry. Uh, so uh, these two p uh, pictures shows uh, the definition of uh, laser cladding, and I think uh, Roger has already given us a, a good uh, explanation, so it has saved me some time. So uh, in this uh, uh, project, uh, the patent rail we uh, use is HE400, and we considered uh, four uh, uh, cladding materials, uh, 4110L, SS420, uh, Light 6 and Light 21 And about the uh, heat treatments, we considered two uh, methods. Uh, the first method is only have this preheating to 350 degrees. And the second method is we have preheating and post uh, heating to the same temperature, 350 degrees, and then low cooling. So when we want to uh, 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 create a, a cladding on the rail, so there are two options in terms of the cladding directions. So one is along the uh, longitud longitudinal direction of the rail, another option is along the transverse direction. So therefore, we also consider that these two different cladding directions. And we also consider a single cladding layer and a double cladding layer. So as I said, this, uh, this is a three-year project. So, uh, so far we have finished some tasks. The first uh, um, uh, important task is about the metallurgical analysis. We try to understand uh, the mic structures in the different layers, the cladding layer, uh, heat effect dome, and, uh, and of course, uh, yes, actually just focus on this heat effect dome and uh, cladding layer. So, uh, so one of the tasks is we we investigate the influence of the cladding directions on the uh, microstructures. So uh, the conclusion from this uh, analysis is uh, from our uh, experiment uh, investigation, we found that the real, uh, uh, cladding direction along the real longitudinal direction uh, can uh, minimize the martensitic formation in the heat perfected zone. So, uh, as we know, magnesite is a brittle material, so therefore, uh, in this part of the study, we try to uh, investigate the influence of the uh, cross section parameters on magnesite formation, and in this way, we try to minimize or uh, avoid magnesite at all in the heat of the zone. And we also consider the, uh, the, uh, the heating effect. So if we ha just have the heating uh, only, locally, we cannot prevent magnesite formation Zone. But if we uh, have a preheating and post uh, uh, heating treatment, we can uh, remove uh, the mud side in heat effect zone. And about this uh, uh, preheating, actually, that's the question. So, uh, how long the rail we should uh, uh, preheat? So, we did uh, this comparison study. So, uh, the cladding length is uh, 400 millimeters. So, initially, we just uh, preheated. Uh, uh, the zone this has the same length as the uh, 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 cladding site, 400 millimeters, and we found uh, a mountain site in heat effect zone. So that's why then uh, we, uh, we tried another uh, large uh, uh, heat, uh, pre heating zone, that's so-called global heating, and we found actually if we uh, have a larger uh, preheating zone, we can also uh, uh, remove mountain site from the heat effect zone. We also did uh, this uh, wear and uh, loading content test uh, on uh, laser cladding uh, 
reels by using this uh, Lolo on disk test. So this uh, uh, photo shows uh, to where uh, check and we, we uh, measure the, the 3D profiles of the well check. In this way, we, uh, we can measure the well volume on the uh, given conditions. So from this study, we found that uh, laser cladding can achieve similar or even uh, better loading con uh, contact fatigue and wear resistance than the uh, uh, parent have eutectoid rail steel. And SS420 uh, claddings have the highest uh, wear resistance, but the 410L uh, uh, claddings have the lowest wear resistance. The cell at six showed the uh, best uh, loading contact fatigue resistance. Those works have already been published in, uh, in the four papers, and today I want to uh, uh, discuss uh, our recent work. Um, we measured the local material properties by using mini uh, nature tensor test. So the motivation is, if you have looked at the cross section of the rail, okay, so we have this uh, credit layer, heat effect zone, and these uh, uh, credit layers and heat effect zones, certainly the thickness are quite small, and here, if you consider a single uh, clad layer, okay, so the clad layer is just 1.5 millimeters and the heat of effect zone is about 2 millimeters. So if we want to do further analysis, especially like uh, theoretic analysis, for example, FDM modeling tries to understand uh, 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 crack in change and pro pro propagation and so on, we need to have these mechanical properties. However, because the size of these uh, zones are very small, we cannot uh, carry out conventional standard test. That's why we use this uh, uh, mini nature uh, specimen and the thickness of the specimen is one millimeter. And we also, uh, we cut the uh, specimens on this, uh, uh, on these credit layers and we also investigate the, the uh, possible anisotropic. So we have the specimens along the uh, longitudinal direction and those specimens along the transverse direction. So by the way, here the credit Directions we only consider the use along the longitudinal direction. <laughs> and uh, to provide the confidence to use these mini, uh, mini nature tensile specimens, we also did a comparison study on non credit parent rail. So, uh, on one side, we used the standard test, and on the other side, we used this uh, uh, mini nature tensile test. And the results shows here, so overall, we can have uh, a very good uh, agreement. So this give us the confidence to use these uh, mini nature specimens to carry out the uh, study. And here we consider the uh, three credit materials and, and for each credit layers, we, uh, we have the, we cut the specimens along the longitudinal direction and transverse direction. And we have three zones for each uh, rail. So we have credit layer, heat of zone and substrate. For each identical case, we uh, carry out tests on three specimens. And we also consider preheating and uh, post-heating effect. So therefore, in total, we have 108 specimens. We carried out all the tests on these 108 specimens. So here, I want to show you some of the results so from the test. So uh, uh, here, we consider this is uh, uh, cladding layers by using 410L uh, cladding materials and after uh, uh, post heat treatment. So if you have looked at this, uh, this graph, okay, it shows the results, tensor test results from these longitudinal specimens. We can see the Young's modulus for these three zones are uh, almost the same, it, but it clearly shows that cladding materials actually has higher yield strength and uh, higher tensor strength. Uh, if you compare this longitudinal specimen and transverse specimen, um, we can see the, the difference okay, of the Young's model is almost the same and the strength, the difference not, uh, is also uh, not uh, much different, but the elongation in the transfer direction is much smaller. So this in the cladding area is about 18% smaller and the heat effect zone is about 29%. Uh, percent. So we get similar uh, observations from the other two uh, credit rails, so this is the result from this SS220 uh, uh, material credit rails, and these are the results from the uh, 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 credit rails by using Stalite 6. So from this uh, 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 
test results, we can also investigate the uh, effect of heat treatment on, on the cladding. So, like in this example, we show the results uh, on this 410L uh, cladding. And we can clearly see, okay, so this is a, a clad, uh, the tensor test from the uh, preheated uh, specimens, and this is from post -heat, uh, heated specimens. So the Young's module is similar, but this elongation has been increased significantly from this post heat treatment. And this is also uh, this true for the specimen along the chancellor direction. We can get a similar uh, conclusion uh, from the other two materials. So this is the result from, from this uh, uh, 220 cladding, and this is the result from this uh, say like six cladding. You can see post heat treatment has significantly increased uh, the elongation. And of course, we can also compare the uh, three uh, different uh, cladding materials properties uh, with all with post uh, heat treatment. And here are the findings so due to time. Uh, I will not want to detail it. We uh, can also investigate the effect of heat treatment on heat uh, affected zone materials. And uh, through the comparison, the main conclusion is post heat treatment can also improve the tensor properties of heat effect zone materials. So here is uh, uh, <coughs> here are the conclusions. And first is that laser cladings uh, have high yield and ultimate tensor stresses. So overall, the transfer specimens showed uh, low elongations than the uh, longitudinal specimens, and post heat treatment has significantly increased the tensor properties of all the cladings, uh, especially the properties of elongation. And the post heat treatment has also increased the tensor properties of heat effect materials. So from this research, we present a large amount of the material data in the local areas and we will uh, use them for our future study, as I mentioned before. That's all. Thank you.